Hey, um, another little live broadcast from St Crispin's Church here in London. We're going to be studying a powerful little incident on Sunday morning where Jesus pays taxes with some money that he just gets out of a fish. It's a strange incident. What's all that about? Well, listen, the kingdoms and governments uh, of this world, all the earthly kingdoms, they have to take money off other people. If you read it, it's right at the end of Matthew 17. Have a look at it. It's profound stuff where Jesus points out that, yeah, all the leaders of all the governments and nations of this little passing world, they have to take money off other people in order to do all their policies. They don't pay for it themselves. None of the leaders of the world have enough money and resources to pay for it themselves. They take money off other people in order to do it. But Jesus um, says, imagine a king who pays all our bills. A king who doesn't need to tax anybody for anything. A king who has enough resources to pay for everything that he does. Imagine belonging to that kind of a royal family, a royal family that never needs to take any money from anybody. We are used to these systems of government and power and leaders that are earthly ones. And we just think, well, there's no other way of doing it. There is no other way than these ways um, where the governments, we sort of say, you take power and then you take money off us and then do things. We're used to looking to these sorts of earthly governments for justice and security to give us freedom, security, justice. We expect that of them and they will take money from us all the time in order to do what they try to do. But they can't really do it. They tinker with things, these earthly governments. But in the end, they come and go and everything they try to do has to be paid for by other people. That's what Jesus is talking about right there at the end of Matthew 17. But when we come to Jesus, he makes us think differently. What if there was a kingdom that really could deliver permanent justice? A king who could renew everything. A king who could even rescue us from death not just the problems of this passing life. Well, Jesus is a king who's more powerful than all the chaos and trouble of this world, a king who can help us out of the darkest depths. And when we feel the need for justice and rescue and love, identity, he can give it to us in a way that lasts forever rather than something that's very fragile and can be taken away by other people and what they think of us. This king, this King Jesus, has a kingdom that's far above and beyond all the kingdoms and powers of this passing age. Are you a citizen? Are you a citizen of that kingdom of God? The kingdom that doesn't need to tax anybody because it has enough money of its own, has all the resources in the universe, this king. The first message that Jesus preached was this, turn around because the kingdom of God is here. And that is still this message that, look, we look for salvation from government, politics, leaders, and we hope that they can fix our problems. And then we give, they tax us to do it because they haven't got the resources themselves. But... The problem is, really, isn't it, is that we cry out for justice, for fairness, for respect, for equality, for security. And yet inside us, we ourselves are full of selfishness and bitterness and discontent, grumbling, division, tribalism, even hatred. And so I remember, I think it was in 2011, when some prisoners rioted and they smashed up the prison they were in. And in the end, the riot police, there's no, the, the, all the prison guards had to flee. And there was this sort of little island of chaos. I think it was in Kent. And in the end, the riot police have to be called in to restore order. And in a way, heaven looks at earth a bit like that as a sort of prison riot going on and that there will be a day when order has to be restored, a day when the righteous king of heaven will come 
to restore order to this little bit of the mighty kingdom of heaven. Come with all his holy ones to throw out those who are the troublemakers in the universe, the rebels against his kingdom. And even now the citizens of heaven cry out, how long, O Lord, until you, the king, bring real justice to the world? But the Lord God is, says, really, no, not yet. I've been down to that world full of death and evil so that they can turn around and surrender to the kingdom of heaven and find an identity in this kingdom, the kingdom that won't tax them, the kingdom that's got enough money, enough resources to pay for everything. It's an amazing vision there at the end of Matthew 17. So he's really kingdom can bring justice, can sort everything out. I'm the king of a kingdom that doesn't have to tax anybody. And, he, and this amazing thing where he's saying, um, I want you to be part of the royal family of heaven at the end of Matthew 17. Amazing. So where are you? Are you a member of his kingdom? He doesn't want to throw you out on that final day of justice. He doesn't want you to be perceived as one of the rebels against the kingdom of heaven. He wants you to run to him and hide in him now this very day. He wants you to run from that day of justice and shelter in him and find in him this tremendous, rich blessing of the kingdom. From the depths, cry out to the Lord Jesus today and say, Lord Jesus, I call to you. You are the divine king with all the resources. You're the only one who can pay all our debts, the only hope for justice and love. Please rescue me. And bring me into your kingdom. Let me be part of your royal family instead of one of the rebels who have to be thrown out. Lord Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingdom. Well, that's it. That's just that little thought. And so we're going to look at that in a little bit more detail on Sunday morning. Tune in if you can, if you're free. St. Crispin's Sunday morning service, 10.30 a.m. It will be live on Facebook Live, you can come to the website, Facebook. And let's look at that in a little bit more detail. This kingdom that doesn't tax us because he, he in fact, he doesn't take any money from us. Amazing vision of this Lord Jesus. And it will totally shake up the way we need to look at earthly governments and politics too. Please join us 10.30 Sunday morning.